children this is video 2 of the lesson 2 in history the name of the lesson is from trade to territory let's recap what we learnt in video 1 the last powerful ruler was aurangzeb in 1498 vasco da gama discovered a new sea route to india in 1600 Queen Elizabeth granted royal charter to East India Company cotton silk spices paper clothes cardamom were in great demand in Europe The next topic is how trade lead to battles Through the early 18th century the conflict between the company and the nawabs of Bengal intensified After the death of Aurangzeb the Bengal nawabs asserted their power and autonomy as other regional powers were doing at that time Murshid Quli Khan was followed by Aliverdi Khan and then Shirazullo as the nawab of Bengal each one of them was a strong ruler they refused to grant the company concessions demanded large tributes for the company's right to trade denied it any time to mint coins and stopped it from extending its fortifications accusing the company of desert they claimed that the company was depriving the bengal government of huge amounts of revenue and and determining the authority of the nawab it was refusing to pay taxes writing disrespectful letters and trying to humiliate the nawab and his officials the company on its part declared that the unjust demands of the local officials were ruining the trade of the company and trade could flourish only if the duties were removed the conflicts led to confrontations and finally culminated in the famous battle of palsi the topic is we are going to read about the battle of palsi when aliverdi khan died in 1756 sirajuddaula became the nawab of bengal the company was worried about his power and keen on a puppet ruler who would willingly give trade concessions and other privileges so he tried throughout through without success to help one of sirajuddaula's rivals become the nawab after negotiations failed the nawab marched with 30000 soldiers to the english factory at kazim bazar captured the company officials blocked the warehouse disarmed all englishmen and blocked english ships then he marched to calcutta to establish control over the company's fort on hearing the news of the fall of calcutta company officials in madras sent forces under the command of robert clive reinforced by naval fleets finally in 1757 robert clive lead the company's army against sirajuddaula at palsi one of the main reason for the defeat of the nawab was that the forces led by mirza fo one of sirajuddaula's commanders never fought the battle clive had managed to secure his support by promising the make him to make him nawab after crushing sirajuddaula the battle of palsi became famous because it was the first major victory the company won in india topic is about battle of buxar after the defeat at palsi sirajuddaula was assassinated and mir jafar made the nawab the company was still unwilling to take over the responsibility of administration its prime objective was the expansion of trade 
when mir jafar protested the company deposed him and installed mir qasim in his place when mir qasim complained he in turn was defeated in the battle fought at buxo 1764 driven out of bengal and mir jafar was was reinstalled the nawab had to pay 5 lakh rupees every month but the company wanted more money to finance its wars and meet the demands of trade and its other expenses it wanted more territories and more revenue by the time mr jofor died in 1765 the mood of the company had changed having failed to work with puppet nawabs clive declared we must indeed become nawabs ourselves next topic is we are going to read how the company officials become nawabs finally in 1765 the mogal emperor appointed the company as the diwan of the province of bengal the diwani allowed the company to use the vast revenue resources of bengal this solved a major problem that the company had earlier faced from the early 18th century its trade with india had expanded what did it mean to be nawabs it meant of course that the company acquired more power and authority the questions for this session sir name siraj daulas commander who never fought the battle of palsi second mention the reasons behind battle of palsi third when was battle of buxo fought fourth what was the outcome of battle of buxo fifth who were the nabobs topics will be continued in video 3